I have problems with inside, but instead of just complaining about it, I'm going to explain what I'd change about the game to make it work better for me. I loved the abstract, uncertain quality of Inside Story. I was totally on board with the game up until the point where the child was absorbed into the blob. I was then willing to go along with the game as long as it gave me a satisfying resolution to its story. It didn't, for me. But first off, why did I have a problem? Well, I spent the past several hours of that game protecting the child. By turning the child into an amorphous blob, no longer an individual, and ending in a way where I didn't know if it even survived, that invalidated everything that I did up to that point. To be clear, I didn't mind the unresolved nature of the story, and I wouldn't have minded an, an uncertain ending, but both made the overall experience unsatisfying. So, when the child encountered the blob, instead of being absorbed, I would have transferred the player's controls to the blob. The child will then follow the blob using the same logic we saw when the zombies follow the child. I then add some puzzles in the climax that involve cooperation between the child and the blob, perhaps reworking that annoying puzzle with a flaming box, where the player can switch control between the two, one following the other. Now, I do love that the game only uses two buttons for controls besides movement, but I think adding a third button at the end to swap uh, controls between blob and child would not overtax the player's mind. Let's just pause for a moment and imagine the power of those visuals. A small child assisting a blob of arms and legs to escape from an evil facility. Imagine the child crawling through a vent to open a door just so the blob can get through. And otherwise, I'd keep the exact same overall structure for the climax, with the child following the blob and sometimes helping it. I'd even end in a very similar way, but this time we'd see the blob fall and lose track of the child, who would fall behind while we focus on the blob, uh, the blob tumbling down the cliff face. We'd then hold on the blob laying on the beach, but end with the child running up to the blob, putting a hand on it, then walking over to the edge of the water and looking out on the sea. This gives us an ending with some ambiguity. Is the blob still alive? Can the child live independently? But it resolves the fundamental tension. The child has escaped, and now that the child can breathe underwater, has a reasonable chance of remaining free and surviving in this new coastal environment. Importantly, it would not be a simple, happy Hollywood ending, but at least we'd feel like the preceding game accomplished something. And yes, I know that near the end, you kill what appears to be a high-level director, like a president or something. But large organizations survive the removal of individuals. While killing the guy who runs the facility feels satisfying, it doesn't actually solve anything.